Custom shaped openings are easy to add to walls made by elevation. Let's say that we want to create a couple of windows that have arches on the top of them. I'll start by sketching in a rectangle for the body of the window. And I'll attach that rectangle to the wall. I've selected the wall object and I'll go down to line in the stack. Then I'll right click and use attach from this tools to quad and click on it. Right click to end attach mode. A lot of the frequently used spline tools are on the quad menus. One way we can make an arch up here is by sketching in an arc. I'll use 3D Snap in Auto Grid Mode and I'll drag from one end to the other, let go, and then click a point to set the midpoint of the arc. This worked because I'm using end end middle for the creation method. I just needed to drag from one end point to the other and then I clicked the midpoint. I'll select the wall, go down to line, and attach the arc to the wall. Then I'll go to the segment level and select this segment and get rid of it by pressing delete. Unfortunately the opening has disappeared and that occurred because we must have duplicate vertices here and here. I'll go to the vertex level, select these vertices, and weld them. I'll go back to the top level or object level. Another way you can create a custom opening is by editing what you already have. For example, Let's say we have this rectangle. I'll add it to the wall. I need to go down the stack to line so that I can get the spline tools in my quad menus. Now I'll attach the rectangle to the wall. Instead of sketching in something here, I'll just edit what I have. I'll go to the segment level and I'll select this upper segment. I'll divide it in one place and that adds a vertex right at the midpoint. Go to the vertex level, grab that vertex and move it up. Oops, snap was interfering with me so I'll turn it off and now I can pull it up. I'd like to make that arch wider I can do that by scaling the vertices up here. And there's actually one vertex with two handles. So if I use selection center mode, I can pull those handles apart like this. Now I don't like the way that this is curving back. That's happening because this vertex is Bezier corner type and I can fix that by selecting these two and changing their type to corner. Now we have something that looks more like a four-pointed arch. As you can see the amount of editing possibility is really limitless here. You just need to work more with lines and splines to get used to their tool set and you'll have amazing flexibility in creating openings.